Hello everyone, of course October is coming to an end and you didn't think I would let it get by without doing a Halloween book tag, did you? You are correct, I'm here to do one today. <laughs> the book tag I'm doing today is the Halloween movie book tag. So of course this is gonna pair questions with classic Halloween movies. This was created by Paperbacks and Planner, so I'll leave all the questions and their channel down below. Without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have Halloween Town. One that I have seen, the classic Disney movie that I will be rewatching. Dallin, this is Halloween Town, just like the book. Oh, or maybe we fell asleep on the bus. And that is a book with a magical setting. And for this one, I'm picking A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This is an adult kind of fantasy book that's about a magic school called the Scholomance. And it's about a character named Elle who has this really big power like she's kind of evil but she's trying to fight it and it's all about her going to the school that there's demons all the time that are coming out and trying to kill the kids on a constant basis you have to worry about that worry about your mana worry about your life force all of that fun stuff it's definitely a magical book for sure next up we have the Sanderson sisters aka Hocus Pocus who watched the new Hocus Pocus I liked it I thought it was cute I think it was an okay sequel I'll say that Um, we have a book with revenge plot and for this one I immediately thought of Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is a why mystery thriller and it's an amazing one. I always I recommend the audiobook for this one. I don't read a lot of I don't listen to a lot of audiobooks but this one was amazing. So in this book we follow a character named Sadie whose sister was murdered and she knows who killed Sadie and so she goes on the hunt to kill the person that killed her sister. Meanwhile we have a podcaster that's kind of on Sadie's trail trying to figure out where she is and he's always a few steps behind so you're getting the podcast element in it as well. But obviously Sadie is out for revenge which makes this a great revenge book. Next up we have The Haunted Mansion. This is a you know Disney ride. It's also a movie. I have not ride the I have not written the ride but I have seen the movie. <laughs> This one is, if you like this, try this. And I think a lot of people will make this comparison. If you like The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune, you will love The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sandu Mandu. They are literally like, this is kind of the spring summer version of the book and this is kind of the fall winter version of the book. They're both magical, both about found families, both make you smile insanely much. They are very similar. I know a ton of people are making this comparison, but t trust you me, it is very accurate. Then we have the Adams family, you know, the classic Adams family. Did you sleep well? Like the dead. A book with loads of family drama. For this one, of course, I had to say Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. I feel like I've been talking about this book a lot lately, but I really enjoyed it. It is literally a book about family drama because Daisy goes home to her Nana's house for her birthday and all of her family comes there and they all hate each other. And what do you know, they all start dying every single hour. So a lot of family drama in this one for sure. Then we have Twitches. Is this a movie? Is this a show? I haven't seen this, whatever this is. A book featuring sisters. For one, Such Sharp Teeth, I forget the author's name, but either way, it's a werewolf book that really has a heavy element of sisters in it. We have a character named Rory who is going home to her twin sister, um, Scarlet, because she's about to have a baby and she feels kind of alone. And then Rory hits an animal one night driving to her sister's house. And what do you know, it's a werewolf. And then she gets bit. And then, you know, she becomes a werewolf. So it's all about her discovering that she's a werewolf and what to do, but also she's dealing with the relationship with her twin sister and it's got such a great sisterhood element that is great for this. We have Practical Magic, probably like my favorite Halloween movie. I, oh, I love Practical Magic. Such witchy vibes. Always throw spilled salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Plant lavender for luck and fall in love whenever you can. A book featuring a curse. For this one, I'm gonna go with The Inheritance of Orkita Divina by Zordita Kodrova, one of my favorite books I read this year. This is all about a curse. All a whole bunch of characters, but they're all the Montoya family. And basically their grandmother, Orkita, the kind of patriarch of the family is dying and she tells them all to come to collect their inheritance. So they all go there, she passes away, and things are not right after she passes away. The Montoyas start dying one by one. They start thinking that she left a curse on them or somebody put a curse on them. Either way, this book talks a lot about curses and it's a perfect one to read near this time because it's got that fantasy element with kind of a spooky family. Ah, I loved it. Then we have Casper, you know, our friendly ghost. Uh, uh, hi. Man. 
TBR book that is haunting you. Oh gosh, sequels. Sequels are haunting me right now. Like I want to read the sequels, but I don't ever do it. Um, number one, The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lombard. This is the sequel to The Inheritance Games. The last book just came out. I really want to read it. Then we have, oh gosh, this battle, Mamma Jamma, House of Breath and Sky. This is a sequel to um, House of Blood and Earth, which I love, but I think, you know, you, how many freaking pages is this? Oh, no big deal. It's just like 800 pages. <laughs> I can read that easily. No, I can't. This is haunting me. Out of all of them, this one. Like, I want to read it. I don't know when I'm going to have time. If I want to read it, it's probably going to take me a whole freaking month. So, yeah, it's haunting me. Then we have Clue, which I am so glad they put on this because I said Practical Magic, but I take that back. Clue is my ultimate Halloween movie. I love Clue. If you haven't seen Clue and you're like, I'm not a fan of old movies, just shh watch Clue. You will thank me and thank me because it is a classic movie that I watch multiple times a year. Like, it's that good. I love it. We're trying to find out who killed him and where and with what. There's no need to shout. I'm not shouting. All right, I am. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. A twist that you did not see coming. Oh, for this one, I'm going to have to go with In My Dreams I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. The twist at the end I didn't see coming. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I, all I'll tell you about this is about a group of college friends that their friend was murdered. Coincidentally, the friend's name was Heather that was murdered. <sighs> My name's Heather, in case you didn't know. So it's awkward. Um, but they all try to, they go back to their college reunion. They try to figure out who killed Heather. And things get dicey, full of unlikable characters. You all hate them. But the end will definitely surprise you. Then we have Beetlejuice, another great classic, a book featuring the undead. For that one, I have Angelica Frankenstein Makes Her Match. This is obviously a spin on the classic tale Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. In this book, we follow Angelica, the sister of Victor Frankenstein, and she's trying to create her perfect man. So she gets all the parts of a guy, of <laughs> different guys, sews them all up and makes this guy. So it's clearly about the undead because she's about to bring a guy back to life. So I really liked it. It was a fun historical romance book that's perfect to read in your Halloween. You have Tim Burton, AKA like the king of all kind of Halloween and spooky things. <laughs> we have a book series or author you associate with Halloween. This is a great one. I'm gonna have to say Victoria Schwab. I think Victoria Schwab really does kind of spookier things, particularly with Vicious. The Savage Song is kind of spooky. She also wrote a middle grade series, I think it's called City of Ghosts, that is clearly very spooky because it's all about like I think the main character's parents are ghost hunters. So I think Victoria Schwab, V.E. Schwab's really got it down on Halloween. Other, also Grady Hendrix. When I think of Halloween, I think of Grady Hendrix because he writes kind of horror books with a like fun element to him. Is that the right thing to say? But either way, those two authors for sure. Then we have Coraline. Recommend a middle grade story. Oh gosh. I mean, like I just said, City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab was a good one. Um, I don't read a ton of middle grade books. Um, the Trials of Morgan Crow. I read this one a few years ago because BookTube blew up about it. Um, it's like a middle grade fantasy book about like magical and things like that. It was fun. I liked it. I just think I'm not into middle grade. But if you do like middle grade, I check it out. Last question we have, of course, is The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Book that blends genres greatly. And for this one, I thought of one that like I was like, what's one that I could do? And I thought Finley Donovan is Killing It is a great one because it's it's a mystery thriller that also has like kind of a funnier take on it. It's like kind of like a cozy mystery, if you will. I think those in general are great at blending um, genres together, the mystery element and then the cozy vibe of them, if that makes sense. But this one in particular, I like this one. I always say if you're interested in trying thrillers, but you're really scared, check this one out. It's all about a character named Finlay, who is an author that gets mistaken as a hitman. And she's like, maybe I should do it because she's a single mom and needs the money. It's funny. It's a great time. It's definitely got some mysterious, thrilling elements to it that I think really blends the genres great together. So there you have the Halloween movie book tag. I thought this was a really fun tag with some very interesting questions. And I feel like I talked about a wide array of books, which is always a good thing for tag videos. Sometimes I feel like I talk about the same ones all the time. Either way, I hope you have a great Halloween. I'm excited to take out my kids trick or treating. That's my favorite thing to do for Halloween because it's always fun dressing them up and getting candy. 
And you know, as parents, you take the, the candy tax, you get it. But it's just a fun time seeing all the little kids dressed up and all those things. And yeah, I hope you have a good Halloween, whatever you are doing. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.